In this edition of Full Funnel Fridays, I'm so excited to go back to the basics. And that is figuring out what is full funnel marketing. So let's dive in. Organizations every single day are working on one of the sections of the funnel. Let's just call this top of funnel, middle of funnel, and bottom of funnel. And depending on the organizations that you work with, they're focused on certain aspect of it and they believe that that is the only part that you need to work on. For instance, if you are doing outbound cold calling or maybe you're doing cold emailing or going to networking events, I consider that very much a top of funnel activity. So if you're running Google ads, for instance, and you're buying keywords that are exactly the type of quote request estimates kind of keywords, that would be considered middle of funnel. That means that people that are in market looking for a vendor that we call consideration stage that are ready to have a sales conversation. Let's just say that a customer says, hey, I have Mike on the phone. He needs your services right now and he's ready to go. All you need to do is pay you guys. Well, that's considered a bottom of funnel leads. Now, different organizations believe that it's all about the top of funnel. Maybe they do a lot of outbound activities. Maybe they do the postcards, uh, trade shows. They're always engaged in local events, the 5K runs and you name it, that's very much top of funnel. What that means is that there is no guarantee that by attending those events or buying the booth or the sponsorships that you're going to get customers down here. And if you're doing just middle of funnel activities, maybe you're buying a lot of ads on Google and you're just spending a ton of money looking for people to literally transact on your website, that does not also mean that you're going to be guaranteed to generate leads. And if you spend all of your energy on only the customers that are ready to buy, for instance, if you're someone who just wants a walk-in and literally say, hey, I want this product, that means that you are not building any awareness and there's nobody in your consideration stage. You literally are hoping that the people that come in would actually buy to make your number. So if you work in an organization or you used to work in an organization that spend a lot of time on top of funnel versus just middle of funnel or just bottom of funnel, that is the biggest difference between a spotty marketing strategy versus a full funnel strategy. In a full funnel strategy, you're constantly working on generating leads at the top of funnel. That is very much awareness driven campaigns. People that are looking for what you do, but that doesn't mean they're actually in the market to buy today. The middle of funnel is looking for customers that might be in consideration mode. That means that they might be getting quotes from your competitors, but they're looking to see if there's anybody else out there that can do the services for me that is better, faster, cheaper, you name it. And the bottom of funnels are the people that are really desperately in need of your services and they're ready to transact right now. So a full funnel strategy is literally a system like our body. You have a system that drives consistent top of funnel leads and you have a system that takes those top of funnel leads and moves them to the middle and a system that moves them from middle to the bottom to closed customers, even a system that retains them and upsells them in their lifetime. When we build a funnel, a full funnel strategy, it is a system that takes over the top of funnel. It could be inbound or outbound leads and a system that moves them to the middle and a system that's gonna move them from middle to the bottom to a closed transacted customer. And another system that takes that closed customer and it's working for opportunity to upsell them so that you can increase your lifetime value and increase your customer retention. And the best way to illustrate this is to use the growth formula. We built the growth formula to help hundreds of organizations generate customers and retain them and scale up, right? And the acquisition is the first letter, A plus R equals growth. That means acquisition plus retention equals growth. And if you have questions about implementing the full funnel strategy in your organization, click the link below in the description where we go over the growth formula and how you can use that to grow your business. And as always, thank you so much for watching and I'll catch you on the next Full Funnel Friday.